Good morning. Good morning. It's Archibald, the Chesterfield, the third, AC3. And today, guys, I just want to uh, say hello. I want to say good morning. Good morning. And I just wanted to uh, welcome everyone here and uh, just let you know that uh, this is the Archie Luxury. This is my live streaming channel live streaming channel and today guys today guys i have today guys i have um i want to talk to you about um some slimy rodents and uh, i gotta tell you there's been some really really slimy fuckers over the last week oh my god cringe worthy television uh, I've never seen such a such a slimy, uh, cringeworthy event. Um, maybe when my dad told us kids that my stepmom was moving in. That's only thing that could be more cringeworthy. It was an absolute, absolute, absolute. Dis just an absolute horrible slimy event. And uh, if you look at the the body language of the Watchbox interview uh, between the rodent and and Tim, you can see they uh, they were very very uh, he was very uncomfortable. Um, so uh, what what do you say exactly? It was pretty pretty damn. Pretty damn slimy indeed. Um, so uh, I got to tell you guys, it was a pretty slimy event. That's for sure. Very slimy indeed. It was, oh my God. You could see the dynamics. I mean, oh my God. The rodent so suck ass. Oh, the son, a good friend of mine. We got this fucking bullshit from good friend of mine said you're actually the sum of your five friends you're with yeah but he's a slimy son of a bitch who <laughs> will pump and dump to take he, he's kind of he's not really like a um it's not like a, a normal person this is like a you know in star trek they had this monster that sucks salt out of you and um uh, I, the only question I have is, Tim, did he give you that ridiculous book on hotels of the world as well? Did you get one of those? Um, I don't know what to say. It was pretty, pretty damn fucking slimy, slimy viewing. It was slimy. <clears throat> Super chats are now open. Uh, Tim, Tim was a, actually a true professional and he knew how to sli handle this slimy son of a bitch. Um, interestingly enough, if Watchbox is so much better than, than the Urban Gentry channel, what, why does Urban Gentry have more subs and more views than Watchbox? Uh, why, why, why is... Why is the rodent paying homage? Wouldn't he come in there and say, I'm the bigger channel? Wouldn't he do that? Ah, oh, they're bought. They're bought. Of course, they're bought. They are bought. Uh, they're bought. They're bought. So uh, it's it was a pretty fucking cringe-worthy piece of television it was very well youtube not television youtube so cringe worthy um now i've sent the email out i've sent the the, the message many of these guys are sleeping still what's he saying so i said clive no stop yankee doodle two dollars how did you get Christopher Scase's briefcase? Rich buddy, 
that was a friend of mine. He actually bought, there was an auction, a celebrity auction where Christopher Scase's wife, she's doing it a bit tough. That's Pixie. She actually auctioned all this stuff off. So uh, my friend was a huge Scacy fan. He went there and bid on it. He got it just under 7,000 Australian dollars. So that's that's what happened. That's Yankee Doodle, $2. Rich Buddy, $2. Are you still the big dog, Paul? Nice shirt, fucker. Thank you. Today, I'm wearing my Zenith El Primero, the El Primero, the first. Um... So that's 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 the way it is, guys. Uh, the interesting thing is, from this interview, is that we could see the rodent approached them. Like he make the the rodent makes it seem like they approached him and da 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 da. No 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 no. Tim laid that out very clear. The rodent made the approach. Never forget that. The rodent made the approach. And his version of reality isn't always true. Yankee Doodle, $2. Would you consider ambient lighting for your toilet? Of course. Yes, sir. It makes it more comfortable. More comfortable than watching the Watchbox interview with rodent that's for sure blue shirt buddha two dollars pontiff great to see you on early thank you i've actually got to take one of my sons to a mass a mass tutor so i thought hey i'd come on a bit early and uh shake my can shake the can so to speak because i do depend i gotta be honest with you google ads during if for, for content is terrible terrible this is where I make most of my money is the live shows. Well, a fair chunk of it. It's uh Okie dokie. Let's have a look here. We're gonna get we're gonna do a little bit of banning here. Okie dokie. I think you are going to hide user on the channel. There we go. Spy and mash films. I don't need your comments there. Why isn't your channel Spy and Mash Films anywhere? You want to criticize me and, and rule a verdict? Well, how come your own channel is a disaster? Ant G, $2. Can we get a double pack wristwatch check? Yes, that's a that's a very, very, very good, very good question there indeed. I got the Grand Classic from Paddock Philippe. Yes. I can't even believe it's come back. Da 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 da, da 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 da, double paddocks, double paddocks. There we go. I'm I'm uh I'm so pleased. Um, I'm so pleased. I mean, the rodent may talk about the world time. Well, I own my own world time. It may not be a Khaleesi dial, but fuck, but fuck, I've actually got my own world time so uh stick that up your pipe and fucking smoke it uh here we go let's have a look here we've got a yankee doodle two dollars where's the grand classic from partek philippe here we go nv scotsman three dollars is loudmouth tim fired look loudmouth tim he said come on i want to do a show i want to do a show i want to do a show then we did a show there was nothing much to say I mean, fuck, man. It's all about the ratings. It's all about the ratings. I love Loudmouth, Tim. Um, that was a real stinker. I, I turned off a good show to have a stinker of a show. I don't think so. This is a fucking business. This is a fucking business. I'm here to get ratings and, and uh, super chats. I'm not here to fucking talk the fat, am I? I'm here to make a profit. This is what pays... For food, beverages, and tea. I'm drinking tea. It was very interesting. The um, I got to hand it to Tim Musso. Tim Musso handled it very professionally. Uh, true professional that Tim Musso is. Um, is yeah, loudmouth Tim is fired until he brings back more ratings. 
Um, yes, my Instagram account. Nice photos on Instagram. Thank you so much. Yes, yes, thank you so much. I do appreciate that. Um, yeah, that show lasted because there was no money coming in. It's all about the coin. It's all about the coin. Um, the live show ended last week with, with, with uh, Loudmouth Tim because it was a fucking stinker. It wasn't rating. Do you understand that? It was a fucking stinker. Bitcoin or Ethereum? I think Bitcoin. Nice shirt. Thank you. Uh, Jet Young. Yeah, well, I can also read your comments if you super chat. Um, so I've got to tell you, that was fucking cringeworthy watching. Oh, my God. Ah, Mr. Two. Oh, that's not, no, that's not my friend yet. Uh, yes, we do talk watches. We do talk watches. One of the best live shows I've ever seen. The brutal shutdown was hilarious. Well, it wasn't fucking rating. And uh, slimy fucking rodents. Slimy fucking rodents. It was pretty fucking damn nasty. I got to be honest with you. That show was pretty fucking horrid. It was horrible. Blue shirt, Buddha, $3. Loudmouth Tim equals ratings death. Yes, that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. It was poison. It was poison. You remember that band, Poison? Poison? Was it? I mean, poison. 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 That was a big 80s rock band. 80s. Yeah, 80s, man. 80s. Get with the program. 80s, man. 80s. 80s. Um, yeah, that's the way it goes, man. Um, so I got to tell you, man, there was some pretty cringe worthy stuff has been on the net there. Um, it, I, I've got to tell you, honestly, it was, I, I'm actually pleased the, uh, I got to be honest with you, all things considered, I think it's great. The rodent has sold out. Well, he approached them. I'm glad because they're going to keep him in check. See, he can't do dodgy things and that certain puppet who was there a minute ago yeah he the rodents dissed you hasn't he the rodent has sort of ended your friendship you're no longer useful he doesn't want you does he hey he doesn't want you because he's got more important things like earning a living to contend with that's right he doesn't give a shit about you the help you gave him before, the loyalty you showed him, well, that doesn't mean a crack of shit to the rodent. You're only good as the last thing you did for rodent. So, um, yeah, that's why he's called the rodent. You understand this? This is the whole reason why rodent is called rodent. And uh, i got to be completely frank and honest with you there. There are some nasty sons of bitches out there. This world is full of nasty sons of bitches. That's correct. This world is full of nasty, vicious sons of bitches. That's what it's like. It's just vicious. It's nasty, vicious shit. Um, it's... Uh, It's just as just how it goes, fuckers. So uh, what else can I say there? It's been a very, well, I got to tell you, in all honesty, it's been a good week for me because, okay, we've got a few super chats here. Sorry about that. Let's go to them. Ed Venus G, $2. Are you going to have show with Loudmouth Tim in the future? It depends. He can buy, he can, he's welcome to pay to do broadcasts but i probably won't be doing free i'll leave it for a while 
because I do need the money. It's all about the money. Uh, Clive, jump on, man. Jump on. George Gregoria, $2. G'day. Did you receive my paid watch? For it? Yes, I'm going through them this weekend. I will send you a, a, a tracking number and everything. Blue Shirt Buddha, $3. Loudmouth Tim equals ratings deaf. You betcha he does. NV Scotsman is Loudmouth Tim fired. Now, NV Scotsman, he's a cool guy. That's the guy. He's in Australia. He's a Scotsman. I love Scotsman. James Bond was a Scotsman, and he's got the two-tone Daytona. He's got the two-tone Daytona. Um, George Grassi, Gregoria, $1. Thank you, George. Um, so basically, my friend, the Scotsman, he was influenced by his fuckhead friends who said, why didn't you get the steel? Because they're, they're just unemployed shits working or if they've got a job, they're doing casual work, cleaning urinals at the sports club. And they they, they criticize the Daytona choice. Just tell them to fuck off. Envy Scotsman, you tell them to fuck off. Um, so I got to tell you there, man, that's the way it goes. James Bond was a Scotsman. Yes, he was. Read the book. Read the fucking book. He was a Scotsman, okay? The angry punter. Uh, well, that's how he didn't send any money. Uh, Bond was a Scotsman. Yes. Yes. Read the fucking book. Uh, what a, do, some doggy. One dollar. Thank you so much. I got to tell you, cringeworthy TV. Uh, that Watchbox interview was one of the most cringeworthy. I like the way the rodent made several mistakes in his video. He See, the rodent, the rodent's an arrogant cunt. Okay, the rodent is an arrogant cunt, and uh, he never acknowledges he watches any of my shit, but every watch he's bought lately is to piss me off. He bought a banged out old 18038. That ain't going to impress me, fucker. And then he wanted to review the granddaddy of the lot, the Khaleesi Dial World Time. Yeah, just to have a dig at Archie. Well. Fuck you, Rodent. Fuck you. I own my world time, Rodent. I own mine. It's mine. I don't need to kiss the boss's ass to get it on the channel. It's mine. And uh, I got to tell you there, man, that was a one nasty, slippery fuck. $2 from John Rambo. Can the Rodent be saved by Coach Red Pill? No, he's beyond saving. He's Coach Red Pill only deals with people with a bit of decency. Rodent is absolutely, he's been abused as a child. That's the whole problem with Rodent. M T Bone, $5. Do you or any viewers know anyone who has bought a ceramic Daytona from an AD at list? I've been to three ADs and they won't even, yeah, that's correct, M T Bone. <laughs> You're not going to fucking get one at retail. Yeah, I do know people who've got them. But they've had to buy a shitload of other shit. Come on, MT Bone. Don't waste your... Well, actually, yes. Keep sending super chats. Yes, please do that. Kalsowitz, $2. Thoughts on Don Haynes selling his JLC to buy Rolex. I don't understand, Donnie. I mean, I love Donnie. Donnie's a cool guy. What the fuck? He makes the most stupid decisions. I mean, his JLC is... Beautiful. Why would you sell that? I, 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 don't, I, don't, I just don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. And Crazy Orange, no, it's because he's a cunt. He kissed, kissed my ass to weasel freebies and, and promotion out of me. Then on his, ch then he just deserts you. He abandons you. So I'm just a little bit fucked off. Do you understand? And nothing like a vendetta. I got a vendetta against him. I'm coming for the rodent. Yeah, I'm here at the sides. You think I haven't had a go at rodent? I, 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 I wrote to, I, I, I sent an email to rodent's boss last week. That's right. I sent an email. If you, if you super chat me $5, I will send you a copy of the email I sent to rodent's boss. Yeah, yeah, I did it. Yep, I send a 
<coughs> I sent an email to Rodent's boss. Yeah, yeah, five bucks. Super chat me five bucks and email me your email address. I'll send you a copy of the letter I sent to Rodent's new boss. Yeah. Uh, I've never met Rodent in person. No, because he, but uh, I, I gave him a lot of my time. That's what annoys me is I wasted so much on that fucking asshole. I wasted so much time trying to help him. He pretended to be a human. That's the problem with the rodents. They will sneak in with the humans at times. Um, but, um, yeah, yeah, I need juice. I need juice. I'm waiting for another person to co-host with me, and uh, I will... I will get some juice. Um, it's, uh, I got to tell you, it's fucking nasty shit. It's really, really fucking nasty, vicious, foul mouthed shit. That's what it is. It was nasty, nasty stuff. $5 from Yankee Doodle. Here we go. Send me the email, big boy. You are good. Yankee, just Email me your email address, archieluxury72 at gmail.com, and I'll send it to you. Ten, zero, five dollars, AC3. There may be an incoming manual wine, 215 movement, white gold, 36, 37 mil, Grand Classic. Your thoughts on this piece? Are we talking travel time? 5134. I can smell 5134. Yes, no. Tell me the tan. Tan the man. Tell me the tan the man. Am I barking up the wrong tree? Mr. Two, three dollars opinion on the reverso on Vintage Watch Co. site. I absolutely love Vintage Watch Co. Let's go and take a look. They got a reverso, 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 reverso. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, all watches. We've got a Jega Lukutra. They got such a big st Oh, yes, that's 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 the Squadra Home Time. Yes, yes. It's look. It, it's a more of a funky modern slant on the Reverso. Um, it's very. I think in the right collection collection that could be cool. It's a Home Time. Yeah, I like the black and the white. The squad has always been a bit of a, um, it's always been a bit of a unique size there. Hello, thank God there is a Jesus. I love you, Jesus. No, I'm quiet. Hello. Hello, can you hear me? I can't hear him. Fuck. I can't hear him. Fuck. Just when I need, hello? Hello. Come on. I need to hear you, please, please, please. I, I'm sinking fast. Hello. You are totally sinking. Come on. Ah, uh, fuck. This is a. Uh, um. Uh, George Gregorio. Let's see it, big boy. Just sent you my email. Thank you. So, guys, if you want to, you got to send me five bucks, and send me your email address. I will get you the letter. That I sent to Rodent's boss. Now, Clivus, 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 Clivus. I can't hear a fucking thing out of his his thing. But Clive got a copy of the email, didn't you? Just nod your head. Did you get a copy of the email? I sent it to that WhatsApp group. Yeah, it was posted in there. I sent you a copy. Okay, can you come back in again? Come on, don't play these games. We're, 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 we're fighting. I can't hear you. Can you hear me? We can't hear you, Clive. Wait. Please. How about now? Yes, we can. Thank you so much. Ten zeal, five dollars. Think of the video. Amon Fills by Patek Philippe. The one that was sold because of personal problems but is being bought back by the bar. I love that video. That video is why I am Patek Philippe. I love Patek Philippe. Clivus, I love you to death. Thank you for coming on. I want to talk to you. The most cringeworthy piece of YouTube I've ever seen was that Watchbox interview with Roden. <coughs> the body language, I'm a bit of an expert in body language. I never seen Tim Musso 
He's got his guard up. He wears a German customs officer's watch. Arch, how's it going? Not so good with you. What are you doing having 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 relations with Rodent 2? What the fuck were you doing? Well, you know, when you're... Well, you you know, are going to be disciplined. You are going to be... We are going to have to take action whoa, against whoa, whoa, whoa. this. Whoa, whoa. This no, wasn't authorized. It wasn't sanctioned. Permission wasn't sought. Hold on. Hold on, Hellboy. Number one, you realize it's Jen's birthday, right? That was yesterday, sunshine. No, it's today. It's today. Well, it's still today here for another seven minutes. Okay. I got to tell you then... You're lucky it's your birthday, otherwise... Uh, what have we got here? Show me... Da -da, da -da. What have we got? Show us, Clyde, what's in the bag? Da -da -da -da. Okay, open. It's a Rolex box. A boring Rolex box. Okay, keep going. Okay, da, da, da. okay, open it up. Oh, it's a new one. A date just. Date just are us at your local AD. Large selection of two tone and solid gold date just models. Uh, Not to mention. I, this is, no, this is special. They had to pull strings to get this one. This is how, this is a steel date just. Well, with a white gold bezel. What's what model? One two six three three four. Oh, thirty six mil. Why didn't you go? No, no sorry. Forty one. Beautiful white gold bezel. Yep. You love it. Um, How much? MSRP. Okay. Fuck. MSRP for a date just. Fuck. Yeah. It's steel. Not to mention this. This is the one they just released in 2019. <coughs> okay, fair enough, fair enough. So, and and I don't mean to brag, but they actually look the sticker on the clasp. <gasps> oh, yeah. clasp, yeah, 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 they do that. That's okay. Oh, well, they're not even supposed to really do now, that. What is? what have you been doing? You've been seeing our favorite coffee drinker, Jin. What the hell? And did we you mention a, Archie Luxury at all to the coffee drinker? We, yes, I did. And what did he say? And, um, you know, he was actually, he doesn't hate you. He, there's no hard feelings between him and you, Archie. It's, um, and he no. acknowledges that perhaps he um, is not all of his videos. He's not equally proud of every videos that he's made. And um, he has really taken some time to reflect on what his channel really stands for. And what um, sort of rules, you know, sort of boundaries of integrity that he wants to follow. So, I mean, he's, um, he, you know, he acknowledges that um, not everything that he's made has been perfect. $5 from Tanzil, the man. AC3 thoughts on the 5196G Grand Classic from Patek Philippe. Absolute <clears throat> classic, iconic model. 5196 is a very, very cool, cool watch. It goes back to the old 570 Jumbo Calatravas. And I think they're an absolute bargain. Abs the 5196, 5296, they are bargain, bargain, bargains. They are bargains. And for that sort of money, they are the same quality as an Aquanaut or a Nautilus, which is selling for ridiculous money. They are quality pieces. I love the 5196. I do. I actually wanted one. I wanted one, but beggars can't be choosers. I had to settle for a 5296. And I think white gold is the best color. I think in the world time or the um, the world time and the, and the annual calendars, I like yellow or rose. But in the Calatrava, white. Definite. It's just class. Just very classy. Jin, I wanted to ask you, did you see the interview with Watchbox and Rodent? Did you see anything so fucking... 
that's that's like the father explaining to the son what masturbation is. It was, it was pretty bad. It, it was, was so cringeworthy. I mean, it was um, it was almost as bad as watching your channel. Um, was yes. almost as bad as watching. Kanzeel, five dollars. AC three. The rumor is you lost five thousand worth of gold when WatchTech polished your paddock and added a rhodium piece of gum to fix the dent. Thank you, Tan the man. Thank you, Tan. I love Tan. Tan Zeal. He is a cool, cool contributor. So, did you ever see anything so? I got to talk to Clive. Did you see anything so fucking cringeworthy? Uh, maybe when your stepmom busted you in the toilet, wanking off to porn. Is there anything more cringeworthy you could think of, Clive? Whoa, whoa, whoa. When I was a kid. Yeah, no, there wasn't like there wasn't internet porn when I was a kid. There wasn't the internet when I was a kid. We I know I'm the same generation as you, Clive. Uh, yeah, but my generation read books. But we're the uh, same age, Clive. We actually had to, we actually had to go into the woods and find pornography left by the older teenagers and bring it back and sneak it into the house. That's that's how tough it was for us back there, and we had to walk uphill. Okay, Yankee Doodle, five dollars. Leave the coffee rodent alone. He's alone. He's actually a good guy. Thank you, Yankee. I will. Um, but wait, just wait, very wait. quickly, please, guys. If you have sent me five dollars, you get access to see the letter I sent to Rodent's boss. Please email me your just in in the title line. Just put there rodent letter and i will send you a copy of the letter i sent to rodent's boss that is a boss watch i gotta tell you speaking of bosses that is a boss watch man tanzeal five dollars ac3 which youtuber has better posture on camera the rodent one or donald j haynes starfished across his mom's bed ha 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 Actually, I tell you what, I don't know if you study body language. Remember Alan Pease? You remember Alan Pease? No. I remember Alan Pease. He was quite uh, quite a character who Clivers would remember. No, well, anyhow, you look at the body language. You had the rodent up so close, and you had Tim back, back, back. Tim was wearing his German customs watch, and, and the rodent's trying to be kiss-ass and complimentary. You know... I've I've learned something from from AJ man in the hood when I was when I was um, when I was doing home invasions. You know, you're the sum of the five people closest to you. So I'm with oh, you, fuck. man. Don't tell us that while we're on a live stream with you, dude. Man, I'm the sum of the five people, and you guys are so cool, man. That's why I'm cool is because you're cool. And Tim just goes, yeah, thank you. Oh, okay, but but um. And the other interesting development was, okay, RCO, $5. Okay, I'll bite. Thank you, RCO. Really do appreciate it. And we've got Matthew Poor, two pounds, live from Armatinus and Matt. Thanks on air. Thoughts on Air King, 14010. I love the Air King. I love the Air King. You don't love the Air King? That's one of the, when I was growing up, that's the watch I actually wanted, was one of those Air Kings with the engine turned bezel. It's got a sort of a unique bezel. Silly boy, five pounds. Gin, don't go to the dark side. And Art, send me that email address for you vicious raging wombat. Put on some squally traps to catch the rodent. Thank you, silly boy. Email me, archieluxury72 at gmail.com, and I will send you that letter I sent to rodent's boss. Tanzeal, you know, describe yeah. what you like. The 529. Tanzeal, $5. Describe why you like the 5296 more than the 5107. Can I tell you something truthfully, guys? I had a That's chance a of buying two, two Calatravas. I could have gone for a 5127G or a 5296G. The reason I went for the 296, it was one mil bigger. It had a 21 mil strap across, so it wears a bit bigger. Um, I actually didn't. I like the crown on the 5296 slightly better. And I got to tell you, 
it um i just pops it just pops i think it just 5107 is actually my preferred choice but the 5127 has got the slightly more curved bezel i think the 5296 looks better rco five dollars just got my welcome email from paddock owner's site filled out the form for the aquanaut is it worth signing up any good yes it is absolutely they send you a magazine for life it's amazing yes 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 I got to tell you, Clivers, I got to tell you, that was the most cringeworthy piece of YouTube I've ever seen in my life. And uh, the only thing more cringeworthy was was maybe you, Clivers. Hello? What's and Jin, as for you, what are you doing consorting with the enemy? Um, well, he I, says he's yeah. not proud of every video. Have you seen any of my videos? I'm not exactly that proud of some of my videos either. Fuck me, Dad. You know, I'll be, um, I'll, I've been invited to a uh, to a townhouse party that I'll be going to. Um, oh, Monsina Pinkus, five dollars. Rodent email, please. No problems, please. Just send me archiluxury72 at gmail.com. Send me an email immediately, and you will get a copy of that letter. By the way, guys, I will be checking to make sure you have sent me the five dollars. Otherwise, I won't be sending it. Um, yeah, you, you saw the letter I sent to Rodan's boss. What did you think of it? I thought it was hilarious. Did you get a response from him? No, yeah. not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Call him. Hey, he's it's still it's still business. I think it they might be open. Call up. Uh, call and him I up. And I want to know no. where is my signed photo of Tim Mosso? I'm going to put that in the studio. Hey, actually, to tell you the truth, one thing I really do like. One thing, my affection for Tim Mosso has grown strongly as the rodent has moved camps. And uh, I actually, I, I never, I, ne I actually, I made a video about Tim. I actually quite liked him. I quite liked him. And uh, Chip Wong, $2, called Don Haynes. Well, you won't really haven't really been keeping up the WhatsApp group because, number one, Jen has met with Rodent 2.0. I know. Mark, and Mark has a Bramont hat. You know, I've, I've met with um, I've met with mo so many people now. Can I uh, ask you how much how much training do you need to install a sofa? Can I just ask you that, Jen? Do I look like I've ever installed a sofa in my no, life? No, but your Rodent 2. That's his job was to teach people how to install sofas. Actually, Jim, could you explain to Archie what a jarb is? Yeah, I, I'm not sure. Maybe we need to start at uh, at a lower level. Oh, here we uh, go. Kayak sailing five bucks. Is it wrong to say Jin is one handsome man? Tan is one lucky bloke. Happy birthday. Jin is very handsome. You've got nice skin. If all you gotta do all you gotta do, Jin, is cut down the smoking a bit. I do have to cut down smoking, so I um, I ran out of cigarettes, and cigarettes are so expensive in the UK that I can't even afford to smoke. Actually, they are uh, fucking expensive. How much are they? Um, I, I haven't even bothered um, checking, but I, I I suspect they're extremely expensive. Um, although, I mean, Australia is super expensive, too, and drinking in Australia or eating out, I mean, you can't even eat out for less than $100 for two people in Australia. That's correct. Ten zero five dollars AC3, can you tell Jin? how much you dislike the stingy fox from Auckland wearing that New Zealand hat. He is all up on Kiwi cricket. I love, uh, I love New Zealand. Yes, yes. I, they, they, more, they had a slow news week. They, they featured me. They featured me. They had a very slow news week. They're much more... Uh... The New Zealand people, are, Kiwis are much better than Australians, I think. 15 pounds a packet. There we go. Paul um me dead yeah i mean that's sort of what i was suspecting fucking so. how no that's real, real quick question what are you drinking right now um i'm drinking no, water i just no, finished paul. a beer paul what are you, what are you i'm not you drinking doing? anything i'm gonna get some juice i want to get some earlier out of the cup oh that was tea 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 it's official coffees for closers Coffees for closers. By the way, what did you think of my Patek came back? What do you think? Um, uh, I think it's amazing it what they do with Bondo these days. Sorry? It's amazing what they can do with Bondo and silly Bond. buddies. Right? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. What did you think, Jin? 
Um, yeah, I mean, it looks great. I mean, it looks it, nice. It, yeah, it does look really good. I look, if you go in with a microscope, you'll always see something, you know. I mean, for sure, but um, just as a, as a watch to wear. Are we talking? Are you still talking about the watch? Yes. Although, I mean, we, we know that AC3 doesn't buy watches to wear and enjoy. He buys them to, to hold and possess and caress and fondle. And what? Tan Zeal, five bucks. AC3, C, please sing happy birthday to you, Jin, in your best British YouTube accent. Not gentry, but hipster. Oh, what sort of fucking accent is that? Happy birthday to you. Happy <laughs> birthday. Birthday, dear Jim Boy. Happy birthday to you. Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Seriously, happy birthday, George. Happy Thank birthday, you. You. 25. Yankee Doodle, $2. Get Don Haynes' nostrils on the live chat. No, Don's in small quantity. You don't want Don there too long. I got to take one of my sons to a mass tutor. That's why I came on early today. I, um, I just felt repulsed. The question I have to Tim Musso is, did, did, uh, did, did uh just hang on just getting rid of something uh did did the rodent give you a book on hotels around the world george Garcia, five dollars attended the new york city chrono 24 party on wednesday we drained the bar good on you george and the fact that chrono 24 charges 500 dollars to sell a fucking watch i bet you you should have drank that fucker absolutely dry they got plenty of money. Uh, I got to tell you there, Jin, I got to tell you, it's uh, the most cringeworthy. T the interesting thing is we discovered from that interview that the rodent made overtures towards Watchbox, yes. not the other way yeah. around. Yes, it's uh, real breaking news, and it's not surprising either. Oh, I don't wait, wait, I'm sorry. Super chat by Tanzone. Sorry. AC3, the Blue Roman State Just 41 Jubilee. Seems to be the one to get. I have a date just two blue Romans on an oyster. But he also, yeah, but I also think it has to be on the uh, white gold bezel as well. I don't mind the oyster bracelet. I think it feels a lot more sporty. I don't hate it on oyster. Oyster can be cool. DJ Dummy, $5. Thoughts on the Yacht Master 40, 126622 with rhodium dial. Stealth wealth or fuck off piece. I've never been a Yacht Master 40 fan. What do you think, Jin? 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 Um, I think in um, in Geneva. Oh, that's right. Someone on this channel has actually been to Geneva. Wow. Congratulations, Jen. At least someone on this channel has been. Yeah. I'm, no, I'm going to Geneva tomorrow. I'm going to Geneva tomorrow. Okay. Um, just a quick day trip. Wrecked, wrecked him, 55. Yeah, I, I knock. I'd like to look at the rodent yeah. email. You tell him what's up, big boy. I did. I told I told him. I told him. you. That was a very good email. I don't mind doing that because the rodent... He went and contacted all my sponsors. He went and poisoned all my sponsorship. So, um, you know, I'm just saying, you know, you, you fucking want to be a cunt. I, I would never stoop that low. I would never stoop that low myself. But, but I certainly will write a letter of, of uh, complaint to your boss and tell your boss what a cunt you really are. No problems. No problem. Yes. What they did is he pointed them to some of your content, right? Yes. That you posted publicly on the internet, right? Yes. So you complaining about that? That's like that's like Janice when Janice got naked at the drunk and naked and danced on the pool table and the Christmas party. That's like her blaming Polaroid for the loss of her job. It was Janet. 
dancing drunk on the billiard table at the Christmas party. Polaroid just captured it. I see. Tanzeal, $10. AC3, our friend the Tingler, has a private tour of the Patek Museum scheduled tomorrow in French. He will be having coffee with Terry Stern. Anything you want to tell? Are you seriously having coffee with Terry Stern? Oui, c'est vrai. Oui. Wow, right? that's fantastic, man. Tell him Archie's back on side, okay? Okay. Well, Tell him we Archie can arrange, we, have, we can arrange a private tour for you as well. Um, that can, I'm, I'm, I'm actually looking at going next year. Uh-huh. Right. Sure. Yeah, i got to... Yeah, yeah. Money's been a bit tight, okay? Money's been a bit tight, okay? Yeah, uh-huh. But... Right. Guys, I want to talk to you now. I got to take my son to math lesson in about 20 minutes, but I can still stay here. If anyone else wants a copy of the email I sent to Rodent's boss, please, please super chat me $5. Email at archieluxury72 at gmail.com and I'll send you a copy of the nasty grotty correspondence. It was, oh my God, <coughs> I laid it out. I laid it out on the line. I laid it all out. I told him what I really thought. I told him how the rodent had sucked up my ass. Yeah. You think that's the only time he said you're the sum of your five friends? Yeah, he used that same bullshit on me as well, man. You know, he used to write satanic lyrics for rappers. That, that was his claim to fame. Now, look, Archie, if there's anyone here that should be writing satanic lyrics... By looking at the three of us, it should obviously be you. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. I'm actually wearing my, my Zenith. I'm wearing the Zenith. Oh, I, I really miss that watch, you know? Monsignor Pincus, better call Saul. How is the Aqua Terrace? Great watch. Um, is, I, yeah, I actually think... I'm going to go and get some juice. Just hang on there, guys. I'm just going to go and get a, a juice. I need a get juice. Some I need some water. vitamin C to ward off... <laughs> The, the rodent poop that's in my studio. Sure. No, actually, um, meeting Adrian was uh, was great. I mean, he's a really nice guy. And yeah. um, we had, uh, you know, we couldn't spend too much time uh, um, together, but we, we met on um, Bond Street, um, which is sort of like shopping central. And right. they had, that's where the Patek Salon is. They have um, several brand boutiques, Fashion, JLC, um, Longa, you know, Cartier, you name it, they're all there. And they also have uh, Vempe, where they have um, Rolex and Patek. They have um, several other Rolex dealers, Aspreys. Um, it was, uh, yeah, it was terrific. We just had a coffee. I mean, of course, I mean, if I'm going to meet up with Adrian, we have to... <laughs> Have a coffee. Have a coffee. Um, yeah, it, okay. it, was, uh, it was a great afternoon. One quick question, and we're all wanting to know this. Jeez. Which, one of you, which one of you wore the date watch, and what was it exactly? So we were actually going to both wear the Explorer, 36 mil Explorer, but unfortunately it didn't actually end up working that way. So, um, yeah. So you, so you wore the date watch. Jin, Adrian, what's he bought, really? He bought a... The GMT Black Dial. What did he I'm buy? Not allowed, he... I'm not allowed to reveal. And in truth, I don't. I I, I actually don't know. I never asked him. Um, I I never asked him. I oh, was speaking Archie. with him before about what he was going to buy. So I have a feeling I know, but I don't know exactly. Um. Okay. Uh. Five dollars super chat. RCO. Arch. My lease is coming up. Looking at Lex Car. Thoughts on five forty versus E class. E class. E-Class, the 540, that engine, that V8 engine is super complicated. I only got one word to say about the BMW, well, a couple words, plastic water pump. Plastic water pump. Plastic water pump. Just just, just rehearse plastic water pump to the dealer. $10 for I mean, I mean, sorry. Archie, on the drive to your son's math lesson today. Math lesson? Math lesson? Are you my son me? has a tutor. Okay. Are your kids okay? Never mind. Um, please tell him to calculate how much you lost on the following watches: Piso, Scheitling, 
Fag Horror, Money Go, Hydro Do Not, and The Despair King. Thank you, Tan Zeal, the man, Tan Zeal, the, the, the real eel of the channel. I got to tell you guys something personal. You know, by Booster. TTV has no charisma, not fit to live, not fit for live TV. Oh, it was just so cringeworthy. Could he move any closer? I like you're the sum of the five people. You're the greatest. You're the fantastic. I really love working with you guys. Okay, now we, and Tim put him back in his place. Well, we understand why you made those overtures to us. Hang on a minute. That's not what you said on your channel, Rodent. That wasn't no. what you said on your channel. You said no. you weren't looking at doing anything with anyone else. He no, clearly no. stated on no. his channel he wasn't looking at doing anything with anything else, and he was approached by Watchbox. Then Tim Musso tells you the truth. Yeah, well, is that is it that bad, though, Arch? I mean, come on. Yes, it is. He's a lying scallywag. It's not that bad. I mean, there, there are plenty of things bad with his channel, but that's like the smallest thing. So let's just go hypothetical. Let's just say that a uh, established but struggling watch channel was approached by Brian Gutberg directly and said, hey, let's do a collaboration. Let's get together and do some stuff. And the watch channel refused to respond. How big of a mistake do you think that would be? That would be Look a big mistake. Who did That'd that? Be, I mean, Archie had Jewelers on Time. I mean, like That was one of the earliest, probably one of the um, yeah, but earliest. Yeah, but the rodent started. made me lose that. But you were a pioneer in that in that respect. So you've already been there and done it. Um, Alex TG, five bucks. I just saw a great AD for stern glass watches when signing on. Would it be... Better for wiping the left of the butt cheek or the right cheek. Stern glass. Never heard of stern glass. Have you heard of stern glass watches? Alex, that depends on which is your predominant hand and if you live in a Muslim country or not. So they're just garbage. They're garbage. What the fuck is a stern glass? I mean, what the fuck is that? I, I, I don't quite well, they're obviously that. made by theory, theory stern, so you know they've got to be really high class shit. You know, you know what? Um, I was I was talking about this with Ten and. We were saying, you know what Gutberg should have done? They should have hired a um, someone to make videos in Chinese. That's what they should have done. I mean, it's from a commercial perspective, but it doesn't really make sense that, um, like, what what exactly does he bring to the channel? Wrote okay. it. Please wrench turkey vulture and sell wrenches tonight for fifty dollars a wrench to establish fans that Clyde agrees with. We will gladly do that. Tanzil. Tanzil. So, boys. <laughs> turkey Vulture. Where is Turkey? Can I see Turkey Vulture? Oh, there he is. Yep. Okay. Turkey Vulture is now a moderator. There you go. Done. See, we all do have a boss. Okay. How long is this? See, um... I'm going to tell you this. You know, Rodent has Brian Govberg, right? My boss is Tan. Do you understand that? Yes, he is. And he Tan, is where is my autograph picture of Tim Musso you've been promising me? I think you, it's going to have two autographs now. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be, have TGV and um, Tim Musso in both of their autographs. Would in New Yorker two dollars? AC, your views on Panzera watches? Panzera? I didn't even heard of half these micro shitters. These micro, micro, micro shitters. They're an Australian watch company. Oh well, yeah, nothing good ever comes out of Australia, so pass. No, yeah. So, uh, Archie, were you? Uh, did you see the news? Breaking news that Qantas is launching nonstop flights from Brisbane to, um, I believe, San Francisco and to Chicago. No, not San Francisco to um, Los Angeles and Chicago. Yes, I'm very happy to come out and see you guys. To Chicago, of all places. This is. Yeah, I can start the search for my 1016. Yes, 
I'll start um, interviewing people who drive Jen, Lincoln you know. Town cars. Jen, how do you deal with lot selection when meeting with clients? I'm stuck wearing a Grand Seiko this week just to make sure my client doesn't notice the Patek Philippe. Well, I don't have a Patek, so I don't have that exact same problem. Not yet. Um, not yet. You're looking. You're looking. Right. But, um, I mean, I, I, I travel so much that I generally wear just one watch all the time just because it, you can't, I don't want to carry a watch box with me. Um, so it's not that hard. Did you see my video on Facebook I did? Uh, no. Which one? I released a whole lot of videos to all the forums there about the watch box interview. I put some of the Austin Powers videos into it. You didn't see that? No. No. We have Jarbs. You really put Jarbs on, right? We generally don't watch your videos, Archie. We, we appear in them. That's enough. Yeah. I see. Yeah, there's a difference between masochists and outright gluttons for punishment. Which one is it that that uh, you know Bear Clooney owns? Which one's that? Which one? What's the forum that Bear Clooney fist or modern day, isn't it? That's that's Bear Clooney. No, he owns horology. Modern day one. This is Marx. Horology talk is bears. Ah, uh, horology talk. That's bears. Okay. No. Okay. Yes. Really, I'm kind of more like emeritus these days. Really, uh, Alex. You had Max enough. Uh, breaking news: Tanzil and sorry, five dollars super chat. Fifty thirty-five tortellini dial gone. Fifty-one ninety-six. What? GM. Breaking news: fifty thirty-five tortellini dial gone. 5196G incoming Monday and 3940 shortly afterwards. What color 3940, Tan? What the hell? You you didn't seek permission to do this. Yes, but um but he found a Russian mobster who would buy the uh 5035. No, 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 no. Check you. There's a very good question well, from Versa, five dollars. Archie, out there question, would you rather be poor? in the far future or wealthy in the 1800s i'd rather be wealthy in the 1800s Fuck that yeah the witches doesn't... and cowgirls oh my god you could get away with so much back then they had servants then tens tens on sorry 3940j yeah, but they have they have slavery now in uh archie they just call them work permits in doha or in um or in places like that or it's the apple factory in china what's it called well, you know, they have to actually keep um, with the nets. They have to keep like fences to keep people from coming in, not to keep them from going out, because people want to, so many people want to work there. Uh, but yeah, I gotta say, um, that could be a good two-piece combo, Tan. I think very nice two-piece combo. You know, did you know that there was a 3941J that sold at Sotheby's in New York? So it's a 3941 is the one with two backs. It comes with the solid back, and then it comes with a separate sapphire back. So they're replaceable. And the 3941, there was one that sold at Sotheby's for $32,000, including premium wow. this week. Um, that's and actually pretty good. Dollars. Canadian. Does a 50 oh, Tan, and you know, you know, that's a Tan yeah. Zeal saying, does a 5196G oh. on a 3940J combo meal deal put me a cut above the 5110J and the 5296? Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh. Definitely. I think it does. 3940, that's a perpetual your calendar that's an amazing terry philippe stern had one for years still has it yes it ben does Clyman i'm sorry I, I i give up i give now speaking of of paddocks clive are you what's happened with that other one anything happened yet no nope. don't love you it what i don't love it what the fuck i don't love it so you'll sell it to me for 15 us 
no, you get your ass down here to Oklahoma and you can buy it yourself. I'll show it. I'll introduce you to the people at the uh, dealer. No, he's talking about another watch. No. Oh, oh, the other one. Oh. Yeah. yeah. You said you've just changed your mind. What the hell happened to you? You know, actually, I think I've spent enough time getting watches to impress other people, and I think I'm going to get them for me. Wait, didn't you say that you were buying watches as part of your passion all along? I thought I didn't think you were buying them to impress anyone. Those, those, those Zeniths. Who the hell were you trying to impress, except the the lady at the Zenith boutique? <laughs> Jesus Christ! I mean, it's who were you trying to impress? Impress someone anyway in Oklahoma. Uh, you wear pants. Employed. You wear pants. You know that. You're employed and you wear clothes. I mean, that's basically that's... that puts you pretty above average, and you're not inbred. You don't I know that. I can't believe well, that. I mean, you seriously you are not going to go ahead brother, with it. You're piking. You are honestly piking on this, Clive. I am piking on it. Fuck. That's not a cool move, Clive. Can yeah, I that, now tell the viewers what you were, were going to buy? Uh, yeah, I was going to get a Patek Philippe 5960. That's cooler than a 3940. Jin, what do you reckon? Which which watch? The 5960. I mean, the 5960 is, is super cool. I, I love that one. Tanzeal, $5, AC3. I'm more excited about the 5196. More than anything, a man needs a color travel. Also, please tell Jin for fuck's sake to get the Breguet and also be done with it all. Yeah. You know, I went to, um, I went, I didn't really intend on doing any watch shopping, but um, Adrian and I decided to meet up on um, Bond Street. So I. Where does he, I thought he lived up in the countryside. No, he doesn't live in the countryside. He lives Where does he live? He lives in the city. In, a in decent London. Part of, and yeah, in a decent part of town. And, he rents um, or he owns? Uh, well, I, I didn't really, it's not really my place to talk about his lifestyle. Um, I don't, I didn't ask. You know, I, I also met your other, uh, your super collector friend yesterday and we went for that. Um, Which went one's that? The Rolls. The, um, went for riding the Rolls Royce. Cool. Around Marlebone. And, which, um, which guy is this? I'll tell you later, off air. He's um, so ex he's such a, a figure that you know we can't really cause any problems for him uh, by mentioning his name. That's not the Singaporean guy, is it? No, 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 a Londoner. Judy Robson. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Throw me off the channel. I met him. Okay. He does I met have him. a Rolls Royce. It's I not met him, and. You actually, met, you actually met Duty. No. Okay. No. A two dollars super chat, John Rambo. Two hundred sixty-three viewers. Have they come from TGV's channel? No, they've come from. Well, if they did come from his channel, they they're also coming from Islamabad, Pakistan. I can't believe it. It's um. I've seen a lot of slimy things in my time, and I got to tell you, that Watchbox video, that Watchbox program, was one of the most cringeworthy bits of YouTube I've ever seen oh, in my oh, life. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Sorry, your boss is your boss is interrupting. Five dollars super chat, Tanzil, and sorry, AC3. If someone has a Rolls Royce and is not super chatting here, he is demoted from super collector to Squale Squire. Hundred percent. Yes. No, I mean, what if it was a uh, what if it was a Rolls Royce from like the seventies that he bought for like fifteen thousand pounds and doesn't even work and half the time it spends more. The only time it ever moves is on the back of a flatbed tow truck. Wait, uh, James May. I saw the Rolls Royce. It was a Phantom. That's not a cheap car. No, it was a new one too. I mean, it's not a cheap car. Um, it's a good night out. I was um was was it was that the new series that they released or I think so. I mean I'm not really a it's slightly Rolls taller Royce, um, um enthusiast or <laughs> have any interest okay. in the cards. Guys, I wanna say to you, this has been a super I did this show today to I've just been so, so disappointed with the response. Um 
Is there any way I can get Tim on the channel to discuss it further? Maybe check your emails. Okay. Uh, $2, Kelsowitz. Original Batman for Patek 5196G. Fair trade. Shh, no. The Batman's worth more. Slightly more. What do you think? Is it box papers? No, I would not trade that. I mean, why would you trade that? It's just not... Um, it's just, it's a 5196. It's so cool. It, it's not about money. It's not right. It's just not right. And plus, the Batman is going crazy for price. 5196, you can buy them pretty good. Pretty cheap. We're talking about... You could buy one for 12, 12 US. Yeah, no, no, I have, you know, that would be stupid. No, on the other hand, on the other hand, trading three Rolex steel models for a dent and scratch 52-96 is obviously a smart move. Of course. Guys, I need you guys to go out there and... Five dollars super chat tan zone. Sorry, sorry, it's your boss again. Five dollars super chat tan zone. Sorry, AC three. It's a big night for Toronto. The Raptors are going to basically decimate the Golden State Warriors tonight. Yell, let's go Raptors. Archie, yell, let's go Raptors. Let's go Raptors. Let's go Raptors. Raptors. That's like the Ford Raptor. Remember that. Let's go, Raptor! $2 okay. super chat by RCO. Warriors will win free money. I got to tell you guys there, it's, um, you got to subscribe to Archie Luxury's latest investment, Elite Broadcasting. Go and take a look. It's on the side of the channel. You're on the main page you come into. It's got all the other channels. Elite Broadcasting. I need you to subscribe. I'm losing patrons. I bought this channel. And I'm actually losing I'm losing quite a lot of people. They don't like my type of news presentation. I don't know why. Don't know why. Is that, the, is that the only thing they don't like about you? I don't know. They're just leaving in droves. So I need people to stem that. And don't forget, guys, sponsor me on Patreon for a couple bucks a month. I can stay here. And the other thing is the Patreon people will also get a copy of the email I sent to Rodent's new boss. Two dollars, Steve Camasso. Close up of the tech, and what's the next watch purchase? Whew. I actually, I'd like to get an Amiga Speedmaster Man on the fucking moon. That's what I'd like to get. A man on the moon. The, the camera's not really great, but if you go to my Instagram channel, you can see pictures. Archie Luxury eighty eight. That's my Instagram. Go and take a look. If you look at the at the main menu, it actually has a link to my Instagram channel. Go and take a look. Archie Luxury 88. That's my Instagram account. Guys, I'm going to have to wrap this up because I've got to take my son to mass lesson. I will be back a bit later on. Well, maybe you have uh, Vincent Yate back on when you do. Maybe so I'm not going to come on for probably about another hour and a half two hours okay then maybe you can go get adrian yeah he's welcome on i'll take anyone at the moment you um yeah why do your kids need math lessons I, your kids are asian they should be fine they're half asian and the other half and the other half is australian bogan so i evidently genetically australian bogan must be the dominant genetic uh, yeah, yeah 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 they just need some special help so no it's going good it's going good Guys, thank you so much. If you want to see some cringeworthy video, I s advise you to go over to Watchbox. Please. You're right. You're right please you obviously need to Please click the thumbs down in that Watchbox video. Um, we want it to, to really be a stinker. And, uh, guys, um, we'll be, I'll be back on in a couple of hours. Thank you. I got I to gotta go. But thank you.